Now, in today's video, we're going to revisit one of our favorite printers that we reviewed on the channel, and that is the Artillery Sidewinder 2. Uh, this printer still prints fantastic prints. It's not as fast as some of the ones that we have in the market today, but oh boy, can it print amazing quality. One of our largest printers on the channel, and frankly, it's one of the ones that prints our largest prints. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, we're revisiting the Sidewinder 2 just briefly. It is a, still a great printer. It prints fantastic. It has a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter bed. Now it has automatic bed leveling, which was something that we saw in the version two, which we have. It has a filament runout sensor, can print anywhere from 60 to 150 millimeters per second. And it does have a fast travel speed, right? As it moves from point to point of 250 millimeters per second. It does have a bed temperature of 130 C and it's gonna give you a lot of flexibility that combined with the nozzle temp uh, to print a lot of different materials. We're talking about PLA, we're talking about ABS, wood, PVA, hips, a lot of different things. And you have a great extruder. It's a Titan Drive direct extruder with a volcano nozzle. So let's take a close look and see why uh, it still remains one of our favorite printers, especially when you get quality like this. Now, one of the things about the Utility Sidewinder 2 is that it has a fantastically large build plate that's going to be great for any kind of cosplay helmets that you're going to be looking to print or large prints for that matter. Uh, the build plate is 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. It does have now automatic bed leveling. It has a filament runout sensor, and the speed can range anywhere from 60 to 150 millimeters per second. Now, we're going to take a look at some of these prints in a couple seconds, and I'm going to have it um, start a print so that you can see how quiet this thing is. Uh, but in addition to having the 60 to 150 millimeters per second, you're looking at 250 millimeters travel speed, meaning, you know, as it moves from, from left to right and it's going around. So you do get some decent speed, clearly not as fast as the guys that I have behind it, like the Bamboo Lab printers, but you're still going to get some really great quality. Uh, temperature, 130C on the bed, right? And so this is going to give you a lot of capabilities when it comes to uh, printing PLA, ABS, wood, PVA, hips. Uh, it does have a Titan direct drive extruder and it has a volcano nozzle. Let's take a closer look. Now you're going to be able to load prints in two ways on the artillery. Uh, first, you can use the SD that's on the side, it's micro SD, or you can actually use the USB stick that's included. Uh, the menu, pretty straightforward. You have your nozzle temperature, your bed temperature, fan. You can go into tools, you can go ahead and modify some settings, you can go into print. If we go into tools, for example, you can go into heat. And then what you do is you can um, go ahead and set some of the preheated settings if you'd like. Now, loading prints is pretty simple. You either have the micro SD that you have right here on the side or the USB stick, which was included with the printer. Uh, menu is pretty straightforward. You have your temperature for your nozzle. You have your bed, which is glass. You do have your fan. You have tools. You can set uh, temperature if you'd like, or you could go into print. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one of the prints so you can see it in action. All you have to do is once you go into the menu, you choose the file that you'd want to print. We're going to hit confirm, and we'll see what the startup sequence is in a couple seconds. Now, um, as we're doing this, let's take a look at some of the other aspects of the printer. As you mentioned, you do have auto bed leveling. Uh, you do have a direct drive. Uh, you do have this glass uh, bed that uh, all the prints are going to come out really nice and crispy clean on the very bottom on that very first layer. We're going to see the benchy, so it's right now warming up. Uh, what you also notice is that you have a really nice bed cable that's been updated on this printer. You'll see that the cable itself is pretty robust. I do like um, the rubberized material and you'll notice that it's really kink free. So as this moves forward and back, you're not going to risk any problems with the actual um, heat element that keeps your bed warm. Now, while we wait for the printer to heat up and start printing, let me show you some of the files that we printed. Uh, so you can see right here, just the overall quality. This printer does a fantastic job when it comes to printing, right? Really, really, really nice, uh, clean, um, really, the layer lines on this are ultra smooth. And if we take a look at this other item that we have in here. Ah. Nah. Now, if you take a look at some of the print samples that we have here, you can see that the printer's already started. Very, very quiet, right? So you'll hear a fan in the background, but that's pretty much it. But there's really no other noise going on here. So it's um, putting on down the first bead and it's going to start to print. And I'm just going to get really, really, really quiet so you can see how super quiet this printer is. Really nice and quiet. Now, while it's printing, uh, let me just show you some of the print samples that we've made. Uh, so really nice print here. You can notice layer lines right here are 
almost invisible and super duper clean print. And look at that first layer. Really, really nice. Um, this is another file that was on the actual printer itself. So you can see what this looks like right here. Got really nice quality. Uh, we did a torture toaster. So you can see our torch toaster right here. <laughs> this uh, tended to do extremely well. So everything right here uh, is working, right? So you have that. Uh, and then the last thing we also did while this is printing, and you can see that first layer, how nice that first layer is coming in right there. Really, really, really nice. So we have that Benchy going. Uh, and this is going to showcase really the quality of this printer. So take a look at this. Let's make sure that we have this in focus. So this is a planter, a silk PLA. And look how clean this is. Really, really nice print. I'll just turn it over so you can see the overall quality. And why, you know what, it's not the fastest printer now on the market. But I have to say that the quality itself is pretty spectacular. Continues to impress me. You can see how clean the inside is. I did no cleaning at this whatsoever. Look at that first layer line. That base is really nice. And that's all because of the type of base that it has. Well, I really prefer PEI sheets. This is a good uh, print service. So you can see how this turned out right here. Nice and clean. And that's pretty awesome. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.